Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Minecraft running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this time it is with 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of the 8 gigabytes that we looked at last time. And with 8 gigabytes of RAM, we were getting decent enough performance, though there were just limitations in general that come with Minecraft and running on an AMD GPU. Specifically because AMD really did not feel like it was necessary to optimize their OpenGL driver support until pretty much a half decade after OpenGL has been replaced placed by Vulkan and the most popular game in the world has already been running on that OpenGL API that they haven't supported for more than a decade. But I guess better late than never. Overall, the performance that we're getting here is pretty decent though. What we're seeing is that even with Optifine, we're seeing problems with the 1% lows here, which is a little unfortunate, but in general, the FPS that you're getting is really solid, but getting 1% lows that are essentially a third of your average is still pretty rough. So there is something we can do to try to alleviate this. And what that is, is essentially a adjusting the TDP of the APU here. Using the AMD APU tuning utility, we can actually adjust the TDP away from the 15 watt stock here to 25 watt. And that is using the balance preset in the AMD APU tuning utility, which you can see down below. I have a link to the program in the description of this video. Now turning up the TDP to 25 watts. Now the 25 watt TDP actually did alleviate a lot of the problems that we were having with our 1% lows pretty much more than doubling at this point. And it overall just leveled out the experience and this was actually extremely enjoyable and if you look at the temperatures it actually didn't increase by that much so if you're on a system that is very limited and even turning up to 25 watts in a lot of games is difficult try it out on here it might not actually increase the demand enough that the temperatures will increase dramatically but you're going to get an overall better experience so i think it's definitely something that you should give a go it might not work out for you i know that there are some systems out there that are really thermal limited and i'm sorry if you're using one of those systems but i would say that honestly 25 watts is pretty much necessary in this game now of course another thing that we can do here is now we can start installing some shaders to see if we can you know utilize a lot of this fps headroom that we have here because i mean the display on this system is only 60 hertz anyway so if we can just lose some fps here but get some nice visuals well it might be a worthwhile trade-off so i started off admittedly a little ambitious i guess you could say because i went with the complementary shaders which are a very very popular shaders that look really incredible and uh, this is what it defaulted to now it has different presets that you can adjust and this right here is essentially the default which is the high preset and uh, as you can see it looks really nice but my god did it murder our frame rate you know i was looking to shave off a little bit off the top not pretty much just lose all of it we were pretty much at over 100 fps to now we're just just barely struggling to even try to get close to 25 and those one percent lows are just absolutely abysmal so they do have different presets and there is one that targets for more performance systems so we can just switch to that and hopefully actually salvage something out of this and again, I was just too optimistic. Even with the lowest end setting that they have for this shader pack, we run into very severe problems where, I mean, our averages aren't necessarily too bad. It's those 1% lows that really drag down the whole experience. If we were getting those averages and 1% lows of like maybe 27, 28, then we're talking. But as it stands, like, I mean, just look at that frame time chart. It's pretty much just a wall. You can't even really call that a chart it's a wall so it really seems like the complementary shaders are not very complementary with this system which is very unfortunate to see but there are some other shader packs out there that are designed for more lower end systems and designed to not necessarily go too crazy with the visuals to save you some performance what you're looking at here is the T shaders. And these shaders, I actually really enjoy. I really like the atmosphere that they give while also still keeping that Minecraft aesthetic. I think it's one of my more favorite shaders that I've actually seen. Unfortunately, the level of performance that you get out of this isn't exactly great. I mean, the 1% lows are at a more palatable range for sure, but that's in comparison to essentially barely being in the double digits. Here, I mean, not even getting a 
one percent love 25 this is this is the struggle bus right here for sure i mean the averages look solid if we could get the one percent lows to just be a little closer to 30 it could be a more playable experience and we might be able to do that if we turn up the tdp up from 25 to 30 we might be able to squeeze out a little bit more so using the amd apu tuning utility we can use the performance preset to set our wattage to 30 watts and we can see what that does to the performance and unfortunately it really does not do enough here it certainly gives a bump to the averages that is pretty nice they're pretty much going to be staying at 60 a lot of the time but it's the fact that those one percent lows just drop down so much that really just drags down the whole experience here it it borders on playability i'm sure you could adjust the resolution of the game and there are definitely shader packs out there that you can use that are not anywhere near as demanding as these are although the t1 is already pretty like not very demanding but just in general it really seems like it's once we start using shaders that things really fall apart because if you keep things vanilla just using optifine you're gonna get some pretty great performance but it seems like at least the shaders that we tried here neither one really gave that great a performance if you know any shader packs out there that work really well with systems this low end please let me know i'd love to try them out and i want to try out some different modded versions of minecraft but there's just so many different game modes out there and a lot of them affect performance in a lot of different ways so i need to know specifically which ones you guys would like to see so leave your comment down below letting me know which mods you want to see actually tried out in minecraft to see how they perform on here but anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one